But why they become criminals? Not because they are lazy, not because that's what they want to do, you know? If, with any connection with drug addiction, you have many criminals, but they're not drug addicts. They just choose to, you know, to make crimes, to steal, to do all kinds of things. But when somebody becomes addicted to heroin, for example, and the body requires one, two, three times a day the substance, they have no choice, they will become criminals. You can take your worst kids and your best kids. And the sad part of the story is that there's always a balance in society. Not everybody is good. Some people, they choose to be criminals. But when you see productive human beings, doesn't matter if poor, middle class, or rich, that without no exception, all of them will become criminals. We have to ask ourselves, okay, they made a mistake. They try drugs, they play with drugs. But, they, by, but by the moment they had an accident, they become addicted. What should we do as a society? I think we should give them an option, a way out. Because if you don't give them a way out, they will live in despair. They will live in the dark. And I think one of the worst things in life is when a human being lost hope. When a human being thinks, you know, I'm lost, my life is gone. I will never be good again. This is the most dangerous uh, citizens you have in your city. And if he feels that society has judged them and gave him a sentence to live as an addict for the rest of his life, why he should respect society at all? What I'm trying to say is that our duty as physicians is not to judge nobody. You know, it's against the law to drive drunk. It's against the law. So people drive drunk and they make accidents. When they are bleeding, should the doctor, before give him medical treatment, should the doctor ask him, why did you drive fast? Why did you drive drunk? Should, should the doctor ask this question before treats his bleeding? I don't think so. So if somebody uses drugs, uh, I'm against and I think it's bad because Life is beautiful without, and life is so full of excitement and beauty and on taste, on smell, on feelings, on everything, that sometimes to have a very immediate pleasure, you can become hooked to just one substance. You know, when I'm here, I feel high. It's a kind of a high for me. So I believe that I feel sorry for a drug addict. They have one high. I have 500 a day at least by feeling good about myself, by working, by looking at the nature, by being exposed to all wonders God gave us for free. So when somebody uh, starts using drugs, it's like, it's like putting a very specific sunglass that can give you for a certain period of time a nice look about something. But then when you try to take off the glass, you can't. So you are condemned to live in the dark for your life. The question is, what should I do as a physician? I think as a physician, I have a duty to find in medicine all the developments, all the best tools available to try to allow this human being to be whoever he wants to be.